I'm angry on Christmas, everyone's gonna be angry on Christmas. What is that? For Santa, since everyone else gets you cookies, I thought you would like something different. Stupid. Oh. Hello, little Cindy Lou. No, I don't want to cuddle with you. You see, little girl, I have to give all these presents to the putrid, wonderful kids of Whoville. So I just don't have time to cuddle with you right now. Okay, don't look at me like that. Now listen, young lady. Stop doing whatever you're doing with your face. I am not going to ever cuddle with you, little Cindy Lou. Two seconds later. These are pretty good. Did you make these? Mm-hmm. I can tell. There's a little hair in it. Before we start, just wanted to remind you that Proto Bakery Donuts, my small business, is back in stock. Link is below. Also, only nine more days that my 12-week weight loss program is discounted. That link is below as well. And one more thing, the cosplay was for a new series where you guys choose a cosplay I've never done and I try to do it on camera and you guys watch me fail hard. Hence why my back isn't painted. I got it done a little late and it's already almost Christmas, but let me know if you guys want me to post that. I think it's kind of nice to see influencers mess up and not be perfect. Okay, let's get into this. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Michelle McDaniel and I'm a personal trainer, <coughs> proud mother of a pug, and past teenage theater nerd turned grown up cosplayer. Cosplaying the female Grinch. Let me just show you the top part. We like them tall. That's what she said. Excuse me. Today we are talking about old men on TikTok preying on young girls. So a few days ago I posted a video about TikTok and I said if that video reaches about 50k then I'll make another video because then it shows that my audience is interested in it and that I'm not just wasting my time with content that you guys aren't interested in. Well the video did not get to 50k yet. So I failed! But that's okay. I think this topic is very important because... Ew. So if you don't know what TikTok is, TikTok is a video sharing social network service used to create short lip sync comedy and talent videos. The popularity of TikTok with the younger generation could be explained by the fact that the app creators decided to choose under 18 as their target audience from the absolute beginning when they decided to make this app. TikTok creators have understood the younger generation in a better way than any other competitor app could. With their target audience already specified from the start, they've understood the habits and preferences of this age group, which has led them to create a social media app that gives their audience exactly what they're looking for. So let's look up some numbers that I found for you guys. 41% of TikTok users are aged between 16 and 24. According to 2018 data, it seems like TikTok is more popular among male users than female. When it comes to the usage of TikTok based on gender, 55.6% of users are male and 44.4% of users are female. The numbers of US adults using TikTok has been pretty much consistently on the rise over the past few years. At the start, the fourth quarter of 2017, there were 2.6 million US adult TikTok users. Just 12 months later, that increased nearly threefold to 7.2 million. Since September 2018, TikTok usage among US adults has increased exponentially, doubling and reaching 14.3 million in just six months. Now, there are two reasons why I think that TikTok became so popular. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. It's easy. A lot of people, kids, teenagers, got very popular on TikTok very quickly by doing the absolute minimum. And the videos are extremely short. Kids love easy stuff. Americans love easy stuff. So it's no wonder why American people love TikTok. Two, I'm just gonna say it. Old men. Old men get to interact with young girls. It's for you to ride it. TikTok has something called a duet feature where you can take someone's content and then do a little duet with them. React to them, sing with them, lip sync with them. You know, the innocent stuff. It's for you to mother ride it. And the older men love to duet with young girls. I wanna do bad things with you. 
because, and this is my opinion, I'm sure that they will never actually say this, but they can flirt with nice young girls right in the open without actually flirting because it's an app. Oh, I'ma smoke this joint, then I'ma break you off. It's what you do on the app. It's just for fun. Girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. It's what the app is made for. So it's okay to do whatever this guy is doing in a video with a young girl. My sister is 17. One of her friends is TikTok famous. While having a conversation with my mother and sister about this friend and TikTok in general, my husband got a weird look on his face. He used to be a fleet mechanic for a trucking company, and he talked a lot with truck drivers who aren't always the most savory crowd. It was a trend that these drivers, old men especially, were going on TikTok to look at underage girls. If that doesn't ruin it, I don't know what does. TikTok also has a for you feature. The algorithms used by companies like TikTok gather and suggest content similar to what users have already viewed. This helps keep users on the app longer, interacting with more and more content. If someone is very interested in young girls lip syncing to Beyonce videos, then there's going to be more young girls lip syncing to Beyonce videos coming up on their feed. Pedophiles take full advantage of this feature, using it to create an ever-growing collection of their favorite young singers. If you are a parent and you don't want that happening to your kid, you can go onto the app and you can turn that feature off. This way, that video will not come up on anyone suggested, and then there's a little bit less of a chance of some weird, creepy man duetting with your kid. Someone called the Boudet. His real name is Buddy Haynes and he's a 27 year old man on TikTok. Buddy constantly duets with young girls to sexual type music on TikTok. Haynes would message underage girls and after the girls would tell him that they were 14 to 15 years old, the messages got progressively even more flirtier. Haynes asked at Cherry Pop Cosplays if she thinks he's attractive. Then he asked her how old she is. When she told him that she is 14, Haynes continues the conversation saying he wishes he could be in a relationship with her. He sends her dozens of videos of himself, many with his shirt off, licking his lips and kissing the camera. Here, not me, so. Not fair. Like, I can't even make you blush, so. Like, <laughs> making me crush on you even more. Since then, he has been banned from TikTok and BuzzFeed. Anyway, got in contact with him and Buddy says that he doesn't understand why he was banned from TikTok. Oh, love? Call me when you can. Because he was doing exactly what the app was made to do. Duet with young girls and only young girls and lick your lips and kiss them and then send them pictures of you shirtless. I love when predators play stupid. So I'm back. There is no stopping me. There is no stopping the storm, the fire that is the bidet. For those that like me or follow me just to spread hate, to try to get me off this app, you realize you're wasting your time. Best thing for you to do is just to block and not follow, because the less followers I get, the less more I want to be on. The more followers I get, the more I love to be on here. Even if it's just a piss you off. Now, Buddy or Bade, whatever his name is, it doesn't matter because he's gross, was one of the most popular child predators to be exposed, and he is the most talked about on YouTube, but there are so many on that app. And I wanted to put this on here because I saw a lot of people mentioning child predators in my last TikTok video, and I don't have kids, I have a pug. But if I did have kids, the only thing you're singing is Winnie the Pooh and the good old classic fruit salad from the Wiggles. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Personally, if I was a man, I would never duet with a teenage girl. Hell, I am a 29 year old Grinch woman. I would feel odd duetting with any teenager. I mean, if you love duetting, there is a higher percentage of men on TikTok. We now know that. We know the numbers. Why not choose a man to duet with? Exactly. You know why. Because the men on there know that they're sick. I said what I said. I'm not taking it back. Because a lot of them know damn well if they had a daughter that they would not be wanting some old man TikToking with them. TikTok is a great place for kids to to have fun, be creative, lip sync, but it's also a great place for freaks like this to interact with them in ways I highly doubt you want them to be interact with. So it's important to keep an eye out and monitor your kids' social media because like every social media platform, the freaks are out there. Now, since my last TikTok video and saying that I'm just not really a fan of TikTok, you guys have been in my message saying, Michelle, just try it. You're always saying that you're open-minded and you haven't even tried the app yourself. Fine, you're right, I judged it. 
hard. So I will try it and I will give you my honest opinion of it. But you asked my opinion, so now we're gonna judge it very hard. So if you are interested in following me on TikTok, spoiler, I'm not gonna be lip syncing. Not really my thing, but to my understanding, there's a lot of singers on there, a lot of cosplayers, a lot of special effects, and that's really what my TikTok will be all about when I upload. So if you are interested in that, I made sure to link it below. I would love to have you on there. If you are into cosplays or special effects, make sure to comment on something that I posted because I would love to follow you. I'm not one of those people who are too good to follow someone because I'm still learning and I would love to see what you guys are creating. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. Remember, you do not have to be a size two. Abs are great to have, but not needed to be healthy. And if you are a grown up on TikTok, it's probably not the best idea to duets with young girls. I'm not too sure why I have to tell you that. I would think that it was just common sense. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.